Every year, tens of thousands of people gather for one of the largest, most popular running events in the world, the London Marathon. This year, joining the race are six people, each running for a cause far more important than personal achievement. Uh, raising money for uh, sanitation and clean water in developing countries, which I think is fantastic. Millions and millions of people go without fresh water, so I think it's a vital, vital cause, and I'm very pleased to be part of it. So that's what's motivating me. Having been to Mozambique just a couple of years ago and seeing the plight of the water over there and the fact that every day people do a marathon just to survive, either to collect water, carrying water, trying to wash and clean and keep themselves in good health. I work for Samaritan's Purse and we work in Liberia. I saw it as a great opportunity to do you know, two things that I really, really, of course, am very passionate about, um, athletics and sports and, and running but also to the work that we're doing in Liberia. I'd be running for uh, water projects and women's literacy. That even excited me more because those are two programs that I'm just really passionate about and are very, very inspiring to me. When you're, when you're running for something uh, bigger than yourself, it, it definitely is easier to do. Yesterday night, I did this little case band and it has names of people and Bible verses on it and names of communities that we work in. Every mile, I have a name of someone and so hopefully that will help me keep going. After months of preparation, each runner is set for an epic 26-mile challenge driven by a passion and commitment for the work of Samaritan's Purse. I never want to quit so bad in my life, and I didn't walk. I cannot, I mean, at mile 16, I'm like, I'm gonna walk. And I was like, no, I can't walk. <laughs> Just thinking of, you know, all, you know how little the suffering is compared to what you see when you go to Africa or any of the places that you all work. Looking down at my pace band, seeing the different names, you know, like it, it definitely helped me. The determination to confront this grueling challenge pays off as each runner crosses the finish line. I've just finished. You just finished 26 miles? Tell me all about it. 26 miles, 385 yards or something. Um, no, it's fantastic. I, I actually feel, I actually feel quite good. I've never known an atmosphere like it, Un unparalleled anywhere. The crowd just will you on, they're brilliant. So many people shouting your name, it's fantastic. The motivation is, 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 is overwhelming. Do you think a person over in Africa would understand what you've just been through? Ah, uh, well, hey, if I understand what they go through on a daily basis is more the question, do you know what I mean? It's, it's like what I'm trying to do in my own small way. I'm lucky I've got, you know, accessible drinks. There are drink stations all every mile. I don't know, they have to walk so far just to get a drink of water. So, you know, in some kind of way, I'm empathising with them a little bit, but hopefully what I've done today will help them walk less. I think it's a fantastic charity to support. I think it's wonderful, and I'm really proud that he's chosen to support the charity. Yeah. Oh, okay, well done. I'm oh. so proud of you. Big thank you to my mum for getting me involved in uh, Operation Christmas Child um, and Samaritan's Purse in general. Um, and it's because of her that I got the... Uh, the place to run for Samaritan's Purse, which I'm really proud of, and just massive thank you. I'm done. Um, I look forward to getting home and seeing everyone that we're run running for, and uh, be able to put that money that I've raised to good use for all the people, definitely. Children, they, they make it all worthwhile. <laughs>